For a bent over one dumbbell row, you need one heavy dumbbell they are going to hold in both hands. And you're going to be getting into a hinge position and maintaining that position as you do your row. So start with your feet about a shoulder width wide. If you need to turn your toes down a little bit, that's fine. But start by pressing the hips to the rear. Only get a slight bend of the knees. Okay, so often people will try to start rowing and they'll, their back will be up too high and they're doing like some strange variation of an upright row. You don't want that. You do have to have a forward lean. And think about pulling the dumbbell in really close to your knees and that will keep the stress more on the hips and the hamstrings rather than feeling it more in the mid or lower back. Remember when you're in a hinge position, back should be nice and flat so try not to round. Think about keeping the chest up, pressing the tailbone back. We're starting with the dumbbell in both hands and we're pulling those elbows back and shoulder blades slightly together as the dumbbell comes somewhere between like the belly button and the lower part um, of the chest. So this is kind of where we're aiming. And notice elbows are gonna flare out at about 45 degrees. That's gonna be optimal rowing position for any kind of rowing exercise to, to get more bang for your bunk, buck out of all of the muscles that you're gonna be using. Okay, so we're letting those elbows go out about 45 degrees, not flaring at the shoulders, not bringing the dumbbell upright. And the great part about using just the one dumbbell is it's super stable, so you can just concentrate on moving both arms at the same time. As it gets easier, try to go up and wait.